Whoa, welcome back to Braid. I'm your boy, uh, your boy, and today I'm playing Braid. Yeah, it's been a few days. Again, I've been recording this pretty sporadically, but I'm, I feel like this game's not going to be super long, so I'm looking to maybe finish it up today. So, well, I guess the length of this game depends on how much backtracking and finding of the puzzles I want to do. I feel like I got not very far on a lot of these worlds, but, you know, we're at like 8 of 12 here. I'm going to go... This episode, first of all, I'm going to try and cut back on the time I spend on these episodes. And second of all, I'm going to go, uh, and we're just going to start retreading ground. Although I do feel like I'm missing something, right? On some of these. Right, okay. So, I, I, I have had, in this game, I've had a bit of a mental mistake, I suppose. Like, a, my mental stack with this game is incorrect, in a sense. Uh, you can make that. Cool. I am wrong about the fact that you can just pick up keys whenever you want. You cannot just pick up keys whenever you want. You, the green keys are the ones that will come with you when you rewind time. I'm trying to figure out how... Like, how would I ever do any of this, though, you know? Like, how do you... This guy has to play into it. I do... I feel like I'm missing a piece of the game or something. Doesn't it seem that way? Like, there's no making this jump. Maybe I just progress and then we come back at the end. You know, I'm gonna do that. I, I want to go back and I want to get all these puzzle pieces, but it definitely, like, this isn't a puzzle, is it? Do you see anything that I could do here? Maybe you do. And if you know, you know. And you're probably going, oh, this guy, he doesn't know. I can just forward in time. Backwards in time. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the main menu here. And we're just we're just gonna continue on through the worlds. That's what I'm gonna do. I've changed my mind and I do this at the start of every one of these episodes, I feel, but like you know what I want. Let's do a little bit of do a little bit of puzzling here, see if we can get anything out of this. These puzzles are pretty abstract, I have to say. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Again though, I am just absolutely floored by the fact that this feels fluid. Ooh, no, it doesn't go here. I don't think anything else really fits together. Maybe this piece here? Yeah. Might go here. Eh, not too bad. Not too shabby of a cleanup here. I think this is gonna go... Uh, I think that this puzzle is probably going to look like... I think it's gonna look like this. And then this piece goes at the top somewhere. Hold. Oh, let me get the, grab the piece. Thank you. Up here. Oh yeah, this is definitely. Oh wow, there you go. Look at that. Hey, hey, that's us, isn't it? That's Tim, right there. That's him. He's got a little wine glass. Probably gonna be a little secret story going on in these. I don't know why. I mean, I haven't done these because I didn't finish the puzzle. But let's. Uh, okay, I don't know all the pieces. So let's do these to see what we can figure out about what's going on. Because I'm interested now. I got one. This definitely looks here. Yeah, these are very, uh, these are very bendy puzzle pieces and not very, uh, not bendy, I guess. Goes here. Oh, this is like a little, this is a dude in a doorway. He probably goes up there. That doesn't hook together. Maybe that? No. That piece doesn't go there. Maybe. No, no, no. This looks like it hooks down here, right? Yeah, this is definitely, like, bottom right. Maybe... Does it go with this? No. I, maybe I just don't have a whole lot of pieces that snap together here. Maybe we got a few. I think this one's gonna end up going here. This should hook... If, if everything I have here is correct, which it is, because the thing's pieced together, something... This should hook, yeah, somewhere like this. So we got a, a man in a doorway here. How exciting. Alright. And we did we just finished world three, or was that world four? I think that was world four. Hold. One, two. Or no, was this this was three, wasn't it? That's four? Who was world one then? This is three. This is two. Where's world one? Oh. Hey, what is this? 
Oh, this is from the start of the game, I remember. Is this world one? Hmm. I'm a little suspicious of this game. Because it seems like the story seems a little, uh... I, all I'm saying is I'm keeping my peepers open. That's two. That's three. Is it up here, maybe? Is this world one? Maybe. Alright. Well, let's go do world five now. And so for this video, I will do... I'm gonna go for about 20 minutes. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the story. Hold. Five, time and decision. She never understood the impulses that drove him, never quite felt the intensity that over time chiseled lines into his face. She was never quite close enough to him, but he held her as though she were, whispered into her ear words that only a soulmate should receive. Oh. Ooh. Over the remnants of dinner, they both knew the time had come. He would have said, I have to go find the princess, but he didn't need to. Giving a final kiss, hoisting a travel bag to his shoulder, he walked out the door. Though all the nights that followed, she still loved him as though he had stayed to comfort her and protect her. Princess be damned. Did our character leave his wife? <laughs> What's going on here? Also, pretty sure I've done a version of the pit every time. Like some diamonds going on. Okay. There's like, there's two of them, you see that? It's like double outlined. Oh, there's like a little... There's a ghost man. Wait a minute. Oh, this is gonna be confusing, isn't it? Okay, so there's... Oh, see, this is like super... It's like watching your Super Meat Boy clone go. I see. I can't fast forward time either. Oh no, when I rewound time, I messed everything up, I see. So let me rewind time so it's fresh, and then we go jump down here, and then we jump back up. Go, my ghost man. Oh, that's gonna, this is gonna be tough. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. My ghost man just died to a ghost, ghost. Now, if everything has a ghost, I guess it'll be okay. Okay, so we can climb up here. Pull the lever. Ah, and then we have to rewind time so that our ghost will pull the lever while we stand there. You see that? This looks cool. Pull the lever. Boom, we got it. Alright, this looks sick. I'm, I'm really, again, I'm just really blown away every time that I play a new level and I go, wow, that's a cool mechanic. Like, I guess in current era, uh, by the way, RIP brother, in current era, this is probably not that crazy of an idea, but I have been I've been thinking about this game in terms of the context of it being uh Hey, what the hell man? I've been thinking about this game in terms of the context of it being uh, made in 2009, which you know, I'm very impressed. I only get one chance at this, I think. Nice. First try. And he pulls the lever. Like, this is crazy to me. That, uh, who made this game? I think this game was made by Jonathan Blow. Uh, but I, this is like a name that I just know. Hold on, I have to tab out now and I have to check. Get one second. Hold on, I gotta see who made this game. It was made by Number None. This is, this is by the same guy who made The Witness. I did know that. Uh, who made Braid? It is Jonathan Blow. I was right. Okay. I I just I never knew for sure, and I always say his name, and I was on I was thinking maybe I just got it wrong. Pardon me, young man. So we come down here, and now I'm assuming that because this is a ghost key, it's gonna come back up with me if I just rewind now, and I come over to here. Right. Oh, but he's just gonna stand there forever. I see. I understand now. So I have to come over- see, this is gonna be tough. So we have to come over here, we have to grab this bad boy- you fucker. Come get a taste. Come- come get a taste. What the hell? Wait, he's too smart. Rabbit is a genius. Alright, let me restart. This rabbit's a freaking- he's a brain genius, he didn't come at me. 
Oh, but you know what? I bet my my ghost is gonna go uh, aggro the rabbit, right? No, but I think that's what I need to do. Okay, I get it. I get this one. So we walk over here, we walk on up, we go... Hello, rabbit, you stupid idiot. Walk over here. And then we go back in time to this point. And we come up here, jump over this fool. And we go, haha, prank your ass. God damn, that was cool. So the rabbit won't leave under that area. I see, so the rabbit doesn't let you kill it. I gotcha. If I rewind time, will I still have the puzzle piece? I do still have the puzzle piece. That's great news, so I can just start again. How do I get this key up to here? I have an idea, which is I wait here. My ghost gets the... Oh, he just ate the freaking ghost. Okay. All right, you got me. Uh, I think that I have to... I need the ghost to come through on the right side. I grab the key. I aggro the rabbit. Right, so let's go. Uh, can I... Uh... Can I clear my ghost out? Thank you. Okay, so ghost is reset. It's just, it's better for me mentally, even if it doesn't make a difference. We walk over here, we go... Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Come get a taste. And then we back up time. To this point, we come down here, we grab the key, we wait for our boy to come aggro the rabbit. Rabbit is engaged. I go, oh no, he got me. I don't think I have time. I think I have to... I need my ghost to live longer. So let's try again. Pardon me, mister. Oh yeah, this doesn't work. I could also maybe have my ghost grab it. Like, what I could maybe do is I could just have my ghost run through, but... I don't know. And that should be good for me to stop the rabbit. Then we pop on down here, we grab ourselves a key. Hey, you dumb idiot. Yeah, you know how it goes. But he always oh, too smart. This rabbit's actually a genius. What the hell? This is the, this rabbit is too smart. He's act he's too smart. I don't, what else can I say? He is outplaying me on every level. We lost. Come here, you stupid bitch. I hate this rabbit. My feeling now is that I have to stay in range to keep the rabbit aggroed. Yeah, there you go. Now what? <laughs> okay, so welcome to phase two of the plan. And then I rewind and I hope it follows my ghost. It doesn't. Guys, he's a little bit of a... I mean, I made it to this point, and that's good. How the hell... I mean, even if I were able to get out of here, how would I get back up, right? Can I fall on the rabbit, maybe? I can! Mission, mission accomplished. Rabbit defeated. How do I get out of here? Strong question, viewer. I let my. Can I drop the key? I don't think I can drop the key. I don't see a way for me to get out of here, actually. So, how could I transfer this key up? That's your next question, then. How could I transfer it so that this key goes up? Or. I guess, how could I make this jump? Obviously not like that. That doesn't work. I could just sit here and jump into this pit forever. I don't think that's ever going to change anything. I, just, I feel like I'm missing a sprint button in this game or some shit. I don't know. But obviously you can't make this jump, because the whole point of the puzzle is that you can't make this jump. If you could make this jump, it'd be much easier. But, you know. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I, do, I really do. I don't... 
I, I feel like I've done this with a lot of these levels, though, where I'm just like, well, I don't think I can do this right now. I'm pretty sure I can do this right now, I just don't get it. You know? I did all of this to get this rabbit out of the way, and then I realized that there's no real reason to do that. I can get my ghost to get the key. But what does that do for me? Like, I can... I can get the key out from underneath the rabbit without any issue. That's, like, no problem. The problem is, how do I get back up? And the answer, I feel like, is there's no way. Because I can only make my ghost mimic me. And I can't make these jumps, right? Oh, wait, he's a genius. He just kept going. I don't see a, re a way that I would be able to make this jump. So... I'm gonna leave it for now. If I don't, if it doesn't, I'm out of ideas, basically. When I run out of ideas, I'll just leave. It's not an execution thing, I just have no clue what you do there. Okay, we got our good buddy here who's getting shot out of a cannon. Usually implies to me I'm gonna have to jump on that guy's head. But getting to the end is pretty easy. Now, this is not a ghost lever. But that would stop... I could just make the jump. <laughs> yeah, that works too. Uh, how do I make this jump? I have to get up here before the guy gets spawned? Oh, I have to jump down and kill the guy, don't I? Because my ghost will kill him. And then he'll respawn. And then I can just bounce on his head when he spawns. I said, I can just bounce up. I can just bounce on his head when he spawns. There you go. Now this one did look like you have to make it to the exit with the key. Oh, I see. Uh, next, next puzzle here is I need to create the gap. I already understand this one. Let me jump back up. Our ghost goes and kills that guy. We get a nice little walkway for our new friend here. And then I bounce on his head and kill him like a monster. Boom. That's another piece. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, part three of my three-part plan. Oh, here he comes. Wow. Well, that was easy. Just bounce. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I have to, I have to wait, actually. I have to wait for him to be down in the middle, it looks like. No, oh, you freaking ghost. No, not quite. It doesn't look like it's high enough, does it? That jump didn't look good enough. Maybe I can... The music in this section is pretty bumping, by the way. I I'm gonna turn it up a touch if I can. The, the audio has been pretty variable in this game. I'm gonna turn this up a little, though. I definitely don't make that. Maybe I can do it... No. You don't have the momentum there. No. What do you think here? You think I, you got anything for this one? I don't have anything for this one. Personally. I could just try to land my jump better, but... That doesn't seem like there's any sort of way that I'm going to make up that little bit. It's a pretty big amount that we're off. Maybe if it's like right underneath? Because we don't make it then. What if I... None? I was thinking, you know how you get the higher bounces if you bounce on an enemy multiple times? I was thinking maybe I could bounce on his head multiple times with the rewind. That doesn't seem right. Let's try it from down here, I guess, just in case. Or, oh, what if I try it from at the very top? Hang on. I didn't think about this. What if I jump off of the ladder at the very top? Let's see where I'm gonna land. Like, right now. Nah. And it just doesn't seem right. I'll come back to this later. Window of Opportunity. 
These puzzles are very abstract, though, I feel. Or maybe they're not. Maybe I just don't know. It's also possible I just don't know. Hey, buddy, I need that. Thank you. Okay, I see. So, I think our ghost man will also have a key, so I could just... I can open that one and then come up here and open this one. Yeah, he's gonna also have a key. What does this do for me? <laughs> uh, oh, I think I see. I think I can jump on top of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get it. I can jump on top of it. So first of all, give me my key back. Thank you. So I go down here with Ghost Man. And I say, open sesame. And then I rewind time. And I go through here, jump on this, I can hit the ladder, or hit the lever now, and he has given me a way out. Thank you, Ghost Man. What a hero. And we go over here, and we grab our puzzle piece. Nice and easy. Didn't I already get the other one? Where's the other puzzle piece? I thought I already got it. I may probably didn't, actually. Where's the other puzzle piece? Oh yeah, I definitely didn't. What the hell? What am I talking about? It's gotta be over here. Okay. This this section has been a lot easier for me to grasp than... Mm, I see. This section has been a lot easier for me to grasp than the uh, last section, though, I have to say. Trying to drop down there. Didn't quite get it. I have to give myself more time. That's all. Now, our ghost is so old. Please hold. I'm gonna tap it so that my ghost is gone for that guy. But I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna stand. I'm just gonna wait for like 10 seconds. One, two, three. This isn't 10. I'm not counting seconds. Seven. Whatever. That's enough. And then I hit it, and then I rewind. And I rewind. And I keep... Re I want to times two. There we go. Now I come down here and I got plenty of time to very casually walk over here and hit this lever. I'm just then gonna operate that elevator there. Of course. And now I think I should be able to just, cause he's gonna rise, right? Oh no, I have to pull it for my ghost now. I see. Does he- will he post- pull the lever now? Oh, that's- oh, he will! Oh god. Well, that's a shame. I had it and I just got a little impatient. Damn. Well, that's a real- that's a real disaster, isn't it? Well, that's a- that's a darn shame right there, I gotta say. The timing of this seems like it might be insane, by the way. I come up here, I pull this lever when he's in position, I wait here. I hope he just pulls the lever for me. Nice, okay. That that one's a little bit... That one is fine, but I feel like that one was also very scary. Because if I had to time out the exact second that he hits the top to hit the button there, that was going to be rough. Lair? I was going to... Huh. Okay. I mean, that guy dying is probably going to be negative, but I'm gonna... We're just gonna continue. I was gonna end here, but this looks exciting. Oh, this is the boss. I was correct. Pardon me, sir. He's a... He's a ghost man, too. He's just... He's just flying into his skull there. Hey, chill. How do I... Is it, is it just that easy? I think it is just that easy. Oh, I have to rewind the, the things, I see. Oh, and I'm gonna have to watch out for their ghosts, aren't I? The ghost of his fireballs? Oh, wow, that's kind of fucked up. Hold on. I accidentally restarted the fight. Now, but his ghost will get woken up by him, right? Yeah, okay. Pardon me, sir. Need you to come over a little bit more. There he goes. Get him. How did that miss? How did that miss again? What's wrong with me? Now. Uh-uh. Oh. 
That one's gonna hit. That one will hit him too. No? Oh my god, these boss fights, they're crazy. This is this is the hardest game of my life. But now he's gonna the thing is now that it's done like that, he's gonna get hit by both of the ghost lanterns, because he's also affected by ghost effects. And then I have my lanterns back. This is cool. That's not right. Please step into my lair. Well, I'm in your lair, I guess, technically speaking. There's two. Imagine dying to ghost chandeliers, man. It's gotta be tough. It's gotta be very mentally taxing to die to ghost chandeliers. I can also, you can just double up. That fight probably goes a lot faster if you just double up your shots. Where's the key? Hey, get back here. I need that. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a... Hey, buddy. There was a thing over here. I mean, you probably noticed it was very obvious. Let's go see what's up here. There's a lever? What do you think this does? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to assume that the lever does something, right? What do you think it does? I don't notice anything different. The problem is if I rewind too much, I'm going to bring the boss back to life, and I don't feel like doing that again. Get off of me. Let's go see. Is there, like, is this... I can't... Oh, is there's a puzzle piece. I see. Okay. So. Of course. I can get this. Don't you worry. I got this. No problem. So I come down here, and I grab this key, right? First of all, first things first, I am a genius when it comes to puzzles. Don't forget it. I am a super genius. So we open this, we pull the lever, and then we just rewind to his death. And now I have to make sure I don't accidentally die because then I'd have to rewind again. I'm over here. Lever has a very short period of time, so I'll just wait. I'm waiting. And they're coming. Oh, the door. Oh, the door. I mess it up. Did I forget? Where's my, okay, where's my ghost? Where is my man? Did he die? Oh, wait, did he die to the? I think he died on the way out. Maybe. Oh, it's accidentally did too far. Yeah, you can totally do double damage to this guy by just dropping these at the same time. Okay. My bad, boss. Sorry, I didn't mean to have to kill you a second time. Alright. Walk on over here. Head on up. Open door. Pull lever. Rewind time. Pick up key. Walk on over here. Wait. I'm a genius. Alright, cool. Fragile companion. Real quick, I'm gonna pop back out to the overworld. Oh, oh no, I'm not. I, I think I'm going to... I'm gonna wrap up here. It's been 30 minutes. We killed a boss. This is a good enough work for me. I'm gonna stop here, because then otherwise I'm gonna feel like I have to rush through this. And I don't want to. So, this will be the end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.